Hey, it's Erica, obviously, because you're on my blog. Um, yesterday I got a request to make a video about my best friends. And they said, f I have a lot of best friends. They specifically said four best friends. And I'm guessing that means Maddie, Taylor, Danielle, and Sydney, because, you know, my picture is a lot. It's really the five of us a lot of the time. And um, they asked me to, like, describe them and you know why I think we work so well and you know why I love them and I honestly love these girls to death you know they're like my sisters and um while describing I wrote a little thing down because I'm a nerd like that and want to make this video better than my other one so we actually made little labels for ourselves one night and uh, Danielle was the sweetest bitch I was the crazy bitch Maddie was the leading bitch Sydney was the funny bitch and Taylor was the ditzy bitch and don't worry, Taylor, I have a lot of good things to say about you, too. So, don't worry about that little comment. Um, okay, so, describing-wise, Danielle is, you know, our little artsy photographer, you know. Um, she, But she's also, you know, is, like, really laid back and, like, you know, yet she's the loudest one out of all of us, which is kind of funny, you know. Because she has, like, these two, really for all of us, there's these two different personalities, which is what I love about them you know there's these two sides that not everybody gets to see but we show each other which is why I love, you know we work so well i think um danielle's extremely agreeable you know and she'll really just kind of go along with anything just to make us all happy you know and to not cause fights um she's very fair and she's really the uh, peacemaker in the group like you know we we have our days you know everybody says oh my god i never see you guys fighting but we do we have our days and we, we, we will fight, and Danielle kind of diffuses the problem and, you know, gets us all happy again because she doesn't want to, you know, start fights. She doesn't want to, you know, she wants to keep us all as close. So really, if it wasn't for Danielle, we probably all wouldn't be as close as we all were, which is why she's really amazing because she does such a good job with making sure we're all, you know, good to go. Um, okay, so Maddie, um... Maddie is awesome because she's really, like, everything, you know. She's friends with so many people, and um, she's our, you know, our little adventurer. She's really exciting, um, easygoing, um, outgoing, um, and she's really brave, too, you know, like, and really loyal. Like, she'll always stick up for you no matter what. Like, if she thinks, like, something, if someone's doing you wrong, she'll always be there to stick up for you and, you know, be the shoulder for you to cry on, you know, and that's why I love Maddie, because, um, she's really just so many things, because even if she is an adventurer and she's really brave, she's also really mature in the fact that she knows what we should do and what we shouldn't do, like, she's really responsible and really, for the most part, keeps us out of trouble, so she's really great in that way, and, um, alright, Sydney, as I said in my last video, is the funny one, she is hilarious and obnoxious, and I love her to death. Um, she's really also, though, like, encouraging and fearless. I mean, her and Danielle are seriously just insane. Like, they are fearless. You know, they always say we're the ones that, you know, have the balls in the group. And they do. You know, I can be a scary cat sometimes when it comes to things. But Danielle and Sydney, they're fearless. And, um, but even though Sid is, you know, the really funny one, she's also the person that I'm pretty sure we all go to when we're really upset and we want, you know, um, just to talk and vent to, because Sydney, you know, she'll listen to everything, hold on, my hair looks ridiculous, sorry, and, um, she will listen to everything you have to say, and then she will also make you laugh after it, which is great, you know, I go to Sydney, and I tell her everything, you know, and she'll just listen to me, you know, for hours at a time, you know, if, if I need her to, and that's why I love her so much, you know, and, um, Taylor, see, Taylor, I'm about to, uh, me up here so yes we call her the ditzy one and um but you know there's there's so much more to Taylor that people don't see it's like she has this wall I think we all everybody in the world builds walls you know just to see who is willing to climb over them you know what I mean and Taylor may be you know flirty and ditzy and you know really upbeat all the time on the outside but inside she's this really deep sensitive person you know she writes the most incredible poetry 
um, you know, when she has all these really deep feelings, and she's been through so much, and she's so strong, like, seriously, she really is just incredible, and, you know, I look up to her sometimes, because she can go through so much stuff, and then she'll still come to school, always with just a smile on her face, and, you know, hiding her feelings, and, you know, ready to start her day, which is really why I love her so much, um, she's extremely loving, you know, lively, upbeat, and also very thoughtful, and, um, bubbly and you know she really just keeps us keeps us going because she's always you know really happy all the time and she's going through a lot right now and I feel like she needed to hear this to make her feel a little better and I hope it did because Taylor you're amazing so don't forget that so now you know that's all of us and you know me you know I'm the girliest you know I'm very protective very stubborn um unlike the romantic one you know bad tempered sorry uh but very energetic creative you know entertaining i kind of make up the games for everybody you know the things that we're gonna do so you know we all have different characteristics that i think what makes us you know all one um so yeah that's the describing part um you know there are certain times when you're with your friends i'm sure everyone you know um goes through this um when you can be with your friends and you could be you just think in your head like wow i have really great friends and last night was one of them which is why i'm so happy that someone requested this yesterday because um last night the five of us stayed on a chat room until two in the morning just kind of you know complaining to each other and helping each other with their problems i made them read this giant thing like ginormous like novel thing and ask their opinions on it because it's something that I'm going through and you know they gave me straight up answers and you know they read the whole thing you were there for me I need them to be and you know that's why I love them so much you know we stayed and, you know they made me laugh too and um you know plus there are things that we don't understand you know like that only your friends understand and we always have that you know we can just start laughing at the stupidest things that nobody else would understand you know they seriously are like my sisters um, and the last thing that I wanted to say about why I love them so much is that, um, I went through a really rough time and I didn't have anybody else. And these four girls brought me in, you know, in the eighth grade, um, going into ninth grade and they took me in, um, and, so that I wasn't alone. And, you know, they just... You know, they never made me feel uncomfortable, never made me feel awkward. You know, they took me in and accepted me for who I was. Um, you know, I never, I always felt, you know, really mistreated, like, you know, my whole life because no one really understood me. But, you know, these girls accept me for who I am, the good and the bad. And, you know, we didn't, I mean, if someone were to tell me when I was, you know, like five years old or something, like, these are the girls you're going to be friends with when you're older, I, you know, I would never believe them. Even in middle school, like, Sydney will tell you, like, we all, like, hated each other, like, in middle school, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we all thought each other was, like, annoying and stuff, and now we're best friends and we're, like, sisters, you know? It's just really funny, so, um, hold on, I think my dad's on. No, he's not. My bad. But, um, yeah, so, that's my video about my friends. I just wanted to say that I love you all so much. And you all mean the world to me, and you guys are my sisters. And I really hope you like this video. And I gotta end it because it's so long. I have so much more that I can say about you guys, but you know that I love you, so I guess I don't really have to. But I love you girls, and to the person that requested this, you know, everybody's friends are, you know, special in their own way. So, okay. I love you guys, my friends, and to the person that requested this. You know, that'd be kind of awkward if I kissed you and said I love you because I don't know who you are. But, um, <laughs> okay. So, bye.